One of the questions I hear all the time is, what is mastering? Why do we even need to master a project? In other words, if we've made it sound really good in the mix, why would a mix still need mastering? Well, there's three reasons why, and I'm going to describe them in three different objectives. The first objective is to apply broad audio treatments to your mix. But it's also important to mention that this is your last chance to change any of the sonic characteristics about your project. In other words, anything you do in the mastering process is going to be the last thing that you can possibly do to change the listening experience for the next people that are going to be listening to the project, whether that be the general public or another client or whoever it is, the mastering process is what that listener is going to be hearing. And this is your last chance to apply them. And by broad audio treatments, what I'm talking about is that the mastering process is going to treat the entire song as one piece of audio. In other words, if you get into the mastering process and you're thinking that the guitars are too loud or the vocals aren't loud enough or that the backup vocals should have been more in the right channel than the left channel, those are all mix issues, not mastering issues. And the next objective is to apply treatments to sonically match your mix to other genre-related recordings. In other words, if you are mastering a country project, then you should probably listen to some country music that is popular right now, and that way you'll be able to hear what people are doing with the mid-range, or what they're doing with the compression, or how loud they're making the final product. And we'll talk more about all of those different treatments later in this course. And this objective specifically relates to mastering one project. But what if you're mastering a series of projects? In other words, you're going to be making a collection of music like an audio CD or an LP. Well, that's where the third objective comes in, because you'll be applying treatments to sonically match all of your mixes before commercial distribution. In other words, you don't want one song in this collection to be really quiet and then another one to be really loud or one to be really, really bright and another one to be very, very dark. You want to make them all sound like they were recorded at the same time because they will be forever living in that collection of music. You want to make sure that the listener doesn't have to change any of their own equalizer settings or their loudness or volume control whenever they're listening to this collection of music. To do so would really impede their ability to enjoy the music the way that it should be heard. And next, let's talk about the tools of mastering.